Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I am going to be doing a raw video about internet privacy. Now, earlier this week, the Senate voted to repeal the privacy measures that would stop internet service providers from selling our web browsing data to third parties. One of the popular recommendations that might have surfaced on the internet is to use VPNs or virtual private networks. There's more comprehensive guides as far as what is a VPN, but I'm going to give you in layman's term. Basically, it's a secure connection and encrypted connection between your computer and another guy's computer. Not all VPNs are secure. It might secure you from your house to that other computer, but if that other computer still obeys by the rules of you know selling data, you're still going to be trapped in the same boat. So I basically use PIA, and I've been using um, VPNs for about five or six years now. And I switch from multiple companies, and I always end up coming back to PIA. Anyway, I have a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. This site is actually a detailed VPN comparison chart that if you are planning to go with any other um, service provider and you want to know more about it, this comparison chart will give you all the information you need. Now, the main things you are looking for in a VPN is if they are logging or not and how many connections that they uh, they have and are they using a pre-shared key? Because if you go with something like IPVanish or v, uh, Pure VPN, they use a pre-shared key. What that means is that basically if you go to Starbucks and connect to their VPN using some of their service providers, since I have the same pre-shared key, I could ultimately just steal your data right there from Starbucks. So avoid that. Another website that uh, I'm also going to lead you to is privacytools.io. This website basically has a lot of VPN providers that you could check out and also gives you a lot of other stuff that you could check out as far as like what browser to use, what software is to use, operating systems if you want to completely shield yourself and everything. So I will highly check out this website if you are not planning to go the VPN route, more like just make sure you secure yourself using like browsers that will always connect to HTTPS and stuff like that. This website has a lot of information on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit and you found the information to be valuable. If you guys have any questions, hit it up in the comments below if you guys like this video please hit that like button if you haven't done so already hit that little subscribe button if you want to watch my previous video hit the link to the right if you want to watch what youtube tells you hit the link to the left and hit that little circle in the middle just to subscribe and as i say in my nerd cave hack till it hurts